Hello, hello, and welcome to yet another episode of Project Bidoof. In this video, we are going to breed a battle-ready hidden ability, Infernape, and the moveset that I've chosen is Close Combat, Mach Punch, Fire Punch, and Thunder Punch. We're using a Jolly Nature, and we are taking Maximum Attack and Speed EVs. We're also running a Life Orb, but you could run Expert Belt, Focus Sash, Leftovers, Choice Band. The hidden ability, Iron Fist, is an ability which gives punch-based moves a 20% attack increase, specifically Bullet Punch, Comet Punch, Dizzy Punch, Drain Punch, Dynamic Punch, Fire Punch, Focus Punch, Hammer Arm, Ice Hammer, Ice Punch, Mach Punch, Mega Punch, Power Up Punch, Shadow Punch, Sky Uppercut, and Thunder Punch. Typically, if a move has punch in it, it will be boosted by Iron Fist, and Infernape does have access to a few of these. If we just search for punch, we get Fire Punch, Focus Punch, Mach Punch, Power Up Punch, and Thunder Punch. So you can really just take your pick. Of course, people are mostly going to be taking close combat regardless of your moveset for Infernape just because of how strong it is. Maybe Mark Punch as well just for some priority but the reason I've made these two is because it's a more interesting breeding process than some of the other movesets that I'm going to quickly talk about too. First of all being the classic mixed moveset. This is in the Gen 4 metagame so we have close combat, U-turn or grass knot, probably going to be U-turn just so that you can try and get some momentum against opponents that switch. Mark Punch or Stone Edge again depending more on the meta. If you want a strong move that hits flying types and poison types quite hard. Overheat for your mixed attack because Infernape does have very good special attack. It's actually 104. Same as its attack stat. It's just we're not investing in it. Funnily enough, if you want to go mixed, you would probably go naive. You see how naive we now have no negative special attack bonus. So then we could take four EVs in special attack instead. Or you could do like a mixed distribution. But with that said, just looking over a few more movesets, you could go special with Nasty Plot, specially based a lead with Fake Out, Stealth Rocks, Fire Blast, and Close combat this is a very rare moveset i don't think i've seen this one very often especially in the modern metagame and we also have sword stance sword stance close combat fire punch or flare blitz and a fourth move of choice if you want priority or again you want your stone edge there is also a choice band moveset i think this is a really good one especially on a u-turn and vault switch team it's typically known as vault turning this can be a very good way to do a lot of damage and maintain momentum particularly in the singles matches in the modern metagame that is bdsp OU, there's two movesets. Strangely enough, of all the choices that we spoke about previously, only two movesets seem to be up here. It doesn't mean that they are the only two movesets, it's just that maybe BDSP OU isn't as heavily documented. In general, I just think that the metagame for battles, especially in-game, is a lot quieter and less people are interested in it. So I really hope that that picks up for Generation 9 with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The premier movesets here are Choice Band and Stealth Rocks, although I really wouldn't want to waste a slot on making Infernape my Stealth Rock user, but that's just personal preference. Let's go over how we actually learn our moves now. For close combat, we get this when we evolve, which is very easy. Mark Punch, we can receive from the move reminder, and the same with Flare Blitz if we did not learn it previously. We can also get Nasty Plot this way, Flamethrower, Slack Off. There's a bunch of really cool moves here. We get Power Up Punch, U-Turn. You learn U-Turn naturally, which is very cool. You could also reteach this or just use a TM if you wanted it that way. And we learn Flare Blitz at level 68. You really have to decide whether you just want to move reminder this with the heart scale or train up to level 68 looking at the bdsp technical machines we have protect we have taunt we have earthquake we probably have stone edge somewhere nasty plot by tm stone edge sword stance stealth rocks poison jab grass knot u-turn this is a lot of really useful moves some of these pokemon you can have your fun with it be a bit more creative you don't have to follow these movesets specifically especially when there's a lot more options to choose from it's the same with the arcanine video there was so many movesets to pick so it's really worth doing your own research sometimes and just coming up with something new all the egg moves we have our fire punch and thunder punch we have our fake out we have power up punch we can just go over to details 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 fire punch we can get from through level up we can get from magmar looks like we're going to be using a magmar and the same for thunder punch we're going to be using an alexa buzz it's quite simple you need these for the pokedex anyway and they're easily obtainable in the grand underground so it's no problem always do your research beforehand and that that is mainly the thing i try to drive home with this series for the breeding process i decided to transfer the egg moves with hitmonchan and alexa buzz hitmonchan alexa buzz and magmar are all in the human-like egg group and Infernape, while Chimchar, 
Monferno and Infernape are in the field and human-like egg groups, so they intersect, and it's a very easy way to get a male of any of these three Pokemon that have the desired egg moves. I went with Fire Punch and Ice Punch. You can see as I've been breeding these, the egg moves have crossed between Electabuzz and Hitmonchan. So I now have a male, Electabuzz, and Hitmonchan, which have the egg moves that are all quite useful to pass down to Infernapes. So I can then put this in the daycare with a female Chimchar, and as you can see here, I have Thunder Punch and Fire Punch. Eventually, when you get the right IVs, you do your EV training, and you pass down your hidden ability, you will have a battle-ready Infernape that looks a lot like this. It's level 51, it's a Jolly Nature, it's Iron Fist, it's maximum attack and speed EVs. We have our Mach Punch, Close Combat, and our two Egg Moves, Thunder Punch and Fire Punch. Of course, I did some of the EV training for a bunch of these Pokemon on stream. So if you're interested in dropping by and saying hello, that would be nice. I've gone over the EV training steps for every single stat in previous videos in this series. So if you're new to this series, I recommend just going through and watching them. There's a playlist. I would definitely recommend checking out each video. I try to give you guys a lot of information that you might not find elsewhere without really looking for it. With that said, that is going to be it for this video. It's going to be relatively short, I know, because there's not much to say once we're in the game. It's kind of just the same process. We're going through the motions, the same sort of things that I'm teaching you guys. We're just going over them again and again. Unless there's new grounds to cover, I will try to keep these around the five, six, seven minute mark. I don't want to go on too much, but I do want to give you guys enough valuable information so that you guys have a reason to watch these videos. With that said, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I shall see you tomorrow with even more Project Badoof, 6 p.m. BST every single day.